All right, for this specific model, we actually have to remove the motor to replace the drive coupling. So the first thing we will be doing is re removing the motor part compartment cover. So now that we've got the motor uh, removed, or the bolts removed, we're gonna flip this over to gain access to the cover itself. It's set up here. And then we're gonna use just some sort of a wedge, either a flathead screwdriver, you can, if, if you've got a, a tie rod end separator from a, a automotive company, you know, that, that'll work as well. That's probably better, but this will be just fine. So we're just gonna see tap that in there and we're just going to kind of work it around and the coupling as you can see it's already starting to loosen up and it should give just enough room wiggle room there to where we can try it off all right now that we've got the coupling off we'll remove the old key and go back on with the new key and new coupling hammer on the key you're going to want to leave just a little bit of excess there on the top for when you go to mount the key or the coupling you want to try to get the corner, line the corner of the coupling up with the corner of the key. You can kind of see it kind of locks into place there. Perfect. And then just get right back in with the coupling. screws. Alright, now that we've got everything buttoned back up, your unit's ready to use. If you need any other DIY tips, follow us on YouTube at Air King Videos, subscribe and like the videos.